Hey everybody, it's Marietta, founder of Immigration Biz, business immigration attorney. And today I have amazing news for you because finally we know the dates for DV Visa Lottery 2023. And also I'm going to uh, give you some relevant information that you need to know, what countries are eligible and so on. So definitely stick around. So first things first. I do want to address uh, still some confusion. People ask me what is the official website to apply from because there are actually many fraudulent websites. What I will do, I'm going to be linking video. Check out the video that I linked. Uh, in that video, I explain what websites you absolutely must avoid. There are certain websites pretending to be US government. You don't want to go there and you don't want to pay any fee. DV Visa Lottery is free. All right. Now, let's talk about the dates because this is something that you are you guys have been waiting for. So here you can see the entry period. The entry period starts noon eastern daylight time on october 6th 2021 and will conclude on november 9th 2021 very similar as i was actually mentioning in previous video this was uh, expected this is typical every year lottery opens up first week of october concludes first week of november Something that you need to know is that usually the first day everyone is trying to actually register. So the server is often down. So if you actually experience that the server is down and you are not able to submit your entry, do not freak out. Wait maybe two days and then register again. Personally, I don't think it matters when you register as long as you register properly. For those who want to dive deeper on how to register, I do have a tutorial training below this video. You can find it and you can watch it. Now, number two, this is actually the official link to register. All right, dvprogram.state.gov. So you're going to click here and then you will proceed. This is the official link. Actually, let me sh I don't know what's going on here, but this should work. And uh, once they open up the lottery, you will be able to register. Okay, you won't see this. Right now, as I'm making this video, it's October 1st. Obviously, you are not able to register yet because it's not yet open. But once it's October 6, noon, 2021, you will be able to register. And then I will actually make another video and I will show you how to do that. For now, this is all you need to know. Okay, so I hope it makes sense because still there are some people who are going to these different websites like DV dvlottery.gov or dvlottery.com and these are not necessarily the right websites. Now, what countries are not included? So here's the list of countries that are not eligible to apply. So if you are from these countries, basically you are not able to apply unless you claim the eligibility of your spouse. Okay, so these are the countries that cannot apply this year all right you can see that bangladesh brazil canada china colombia dominican republic el, Sal el salvador haiti honduras india jamaica mexico Niger nigeria pakistan philippines south korea uk except northern ireland so if you are from northern ireland you can apply venezuela and vietnam all right so if you are from these countries unfortunately you are not able to apply now Let's talk about some requirements. So what you need to know is that obviously you need to be coming from the country. If you are not from the country that is eligible, but your spouse is, you can still apply. All right. Usually you claim the country of birth or the citizenship of your spouse, if that's the case. Now, people always ask about the education requirement. So in order for you to apply, you need to have at least high school education or its equivalent defined as successful completion of 12 year course of formal elementary and secondary education or 
two years of work experience within the past five years in occupation that requires at least two years of training or experience to perform. Now, if you need more information, you can access this form. I will link this below this video so you can access and click here to frequently ask questions. So we already discussed the entry period that you need to know. Also, don't wait till the last day, guys. I don't recommend that either. Uh, you want to do it the first week, I would say, and then you're good to go, okay? So what information you need to provide in order to register? Frequently asked question, guys, you need passport, all right? Your passport should not be uh, expired, all right? You should have valid passport, valid at least for the next year, I would say, just to be safe. And you don't need any documentation. You don't need to be vaccinated to register, none of that. And number two, you need actual picture, all right? So two things, passport and picture, and you need to be eligible. So the information you will be providing is your last name, first name, middle name, then your gender, your birth date, your city where you were born, country where you, are, where you were born, country of eligibility, as we already discussed, your passport number, country of issuance and expiration date for your valid unexpired international travel passport. Now, there are certain exceptions that may apply if you are stateless or you are a national of communist control country and unable to obtain passport from the government of the communist control country or the beneficiary of an individual wave an individual who has waiver approved by Secretary of Homeland Security. Unless if you're not exception, you have to register with valid passport. And then you need to submit the photograph, picture, recent photograph. Do not use your old photograph from one from last year. It should be taken within the last six months. Same goes with your spouse and your children if they are also registering. Each of your family members should actually register by themselves so they can increase the chances to be selected for your entire family. And here is the instructions how you can submit digital photograph, all right? So if you have any questions about that, definitely go ahead and check it out. Then you're going to use a mailing address, country where you live today. Phone number is optional definitely email address that you can access because the way you will find out if you're selected will be through actually mail and by a confirm by the confirmation number that you will enter if you forget the confirmation number next year you will be able to retrieve the confirmation number by using the same email address that you have registered with next one is highest level of education that you achieve as of today current marital status and that's that guys so this is all the information you need in order for you to register so it's pretty straightforward registration uh, if you have any questions you can leave them below now let's talk about before i go about the photos your pictures your di digital images there must be in color there must be in focus they should be sized as one inch and inch and 3.8 inches. In other words, it's 22 millimeters and 35 millimeters. Uh, they should be taken within the last six months to reflect your current appearance. There should be in front of white, plain background, and they should take your full face. Also, you should have neutral facial expression, both eyes open. You should be taking the picture in clothing that you normally wear. Uniforms should not be worn in your photo. Do not wear hat or head over covering unless it's worn daily for religious purpose. Headphones wireless hands-free devices or similar items are not acceptable. Do not wear glasses. 
If you normally wear hearing device or similar articles, they might be worn in your photo. Okay, now let's talk about the size. It should be in G J P G file format, JPEG in other words. Uh, it should be equal or less than 240 kilobytes and 600 times 600 pixels in dimension. All right, so guys, I hope that this is actually clearing any confusion. If you have any question, any comments, please do leave them below the video. Like I promise, I will actually keep posting more videos. If you have these questions, probably based on your questions, I'll create another video, Frequently Asked Questions, uh, sometime next week. Once the lottery is open, I will actually show you how it looks like and I will guide you through it on October 6th. We can do it together. So if you're new to my channel, you definitely want to subscribe so you are notified when I release new video. And make sure to hit that bell so you are literally notified when the video is uploaded. And other than that, good luck everyone and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.